Josh Green here for Second Hour. Delighted to be joined by Dean White here at York Hall. What brings you out here tonight? Sorry, I've come out here with a few friends to support Dennis McCann, you know, so, um, you know, hopefully he'll, you know, put on a great performance and rise to the occasion and deliver tonight, but he's in a hard fight. A word on Dennis first of all then, obviously this is before his fight against Yonat Baluta, a huge prospect with a huge amount of talent. Mm -hmm. How far do you think he can go and what's the route? Well, tonight is going to be that stepping stone to see how he compares and, uh, you know, compares and deals with this situation. Because this guy is, you know, a gypsy himself, man. He's a Polish gypsy. So he's going to come. His fans are going to be rearing him. We're going to see tonight what happens. And I think it's going to be a difficult fight, you know. But hopefully that young man can rise to the occasion and do his bit. I want to talk to you about the heavyweight in the no in the heavyweight division. Next up, next week, we've got Alexander Usyk and Daniel Dubois. Many people writing off Daniel Dubois against one of the top heavyweights in the world. Do you give him a chance? Um, I give him a chance. It's a puncher's chance. I don't think, if you're talking skill set for skill set, is he as good as Usyk? We know he's not. He hasn't had as much experience. His amateur pedigree doesn't dictate that. His professional pedigree doesn't dictate that. When he rolls up to the occasion, he's lost. Um, but he has a puncher's chance. He's big, he's strong, he's young, he's hungry. But, is that enough? You know, we saw Usyk, what he done. He beat Joshua two times and Joshua rid to, the, rid to the occasion on the second one and, and made it a lot closer. But, I mean, it's a tough fight. It's a tall order. But Daniel's got punching power. Let's see if he lands, if he can land that hand. It's a southpaw. It's all, everything's the opposite side. It's very tricky. Usyk's not sitting around waiting for Daniel to detonate that right hand, man. He's not sitting there for that. By the time he tries to let that hand go, he's going to get peppered with about three shots and then Usyk's turning the corner and gone. So, it's a tall order. Wish him luck, though. If Daniel Dubois does win that fight, where does he go in, in times of the rankings of the heavyweights? He goes up to number two or three. Tyson Fury, not Tyson Fury. What's the, the loss with Mike Tyson back in the day? You know, all his kids. And um, he, he lost. So, yeah, it'll be right up there with one of the most shocking things to happen in the heavyweight division. I want to get your reaction to Anthony Joshua's win over Robert Hellenius as well. For many, he took a little longer than, than expected, but he did get the job done. Um, what did you make of the result and the sort of antics in, in the ring afterwards? Listen, it was emphatic when it came. It was just a bit slow. It was a bit, you know, tedious, a feeling out process. I know he was boxing to orders and, you know... It's hard. It's always, when you look at comparisons, it was always going to be comparing Wilder's first round knockout. Joshua was always up, going to be up against it. Um, but look, he got it done. I felt like if Dylan was in there that night, Dylan, you know, he was in for a great opportunity, a great chance to win and um, beat him. But look, he wasn't that night. And, um, you know, I like Joshua, uh, you know, and I wish him all the best. I would like him to go in there and say he's going to win against Wilder, but I'm... I'm not sure, not the Joshua I saw. He doesn't look as clinical, he doesn't look as dangerous. But yet again, we're saying that he's saying he's trying to box more, he's trying to work towards a game plan with Derek James. So that is a possibility, trying to hit and not get hit as much. But still, Robert Elenius landed and landed and landed. And his nose was damaged and there was a lot of blood and his eyes were swollen a little bit. So, look, but it's boxing, you're not going to go to the pool and not get wet. So, you know, it's about being trying to criticise but understanding at the same time. He is very underrated, Robert Hellenius. Very, very underrated. So, and he's come off some good wins against Karanaki. He was undefeated and was a great hope in America and he beat him twice. So, I mean, he's been coming off and he, he fought the week before. So, he was definitely in a good run of play. Fluid, came in, didn't have nothing to lose. Boxed with a man that didn't have nothing to lose and he boxed really well. When you, when you look at that Wilder fight, you, you would have probably made the old AJ the favourite there. You don't now, though, do you? You know, I would root for him to win, yes, but I'm, if I look at it, is it a possibility? I think it's hard. That Wilder is, looks like he's hungry. And if you see the Wilder that fought Fury and all those fights, he gave it everything, every single fight, until his last breath when he was on the floor kept rising up. And... Um, that kind of man with that kind of purpose and desires is, is going to be hard to put that flame out. And that Joshua with, without that flame, with a man with a flame, oh, it doesn't sound like bold too well. But listen, I'll, I'll definitely be rooting for him same way still. But, you know, I hope he's, he's able to deliver and rise to the occasion when that moment comes. You mentioned Dillian's name there. He's obviously fighting his own battle at the moment. Is there anything you can tell us about what's going on with Dillian? There's, not, there's nothing I could talk about that matter, man. I, I'll just leave that to him. I can't comment on that. You know, I'm sure he'll sort it out and vindicate himself shortly. And that's all I can say. 
good man. Well, best of luck with everything you've got coming up. I'm sure you're a busy man, and uh, best of luck. Enjoy tonight, man. September the 16th, Tolworth, come down, support. Get in for a great night, great fights. Bow. Thank you very much. Good work, mate.